Okay, so I'm really excited to share this book with you guys today. Um, this is one that I actually experienced first um, via the audiobook version. Um, so if you have the chance to listen to this title um, on the audio version, um, please do so. The audiobook is amazing. The narrator does an amazing job. The accents are wonderful. Their sound effects, the pacing was perfect. A really enjoyable listening experience. Um, so the book I want to talk to you about today is Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Um, you might recognize this author's name from her Stalking Jack the Ripper series, um, which is another amazing mystery series kind of set, you know, during, you know, the Victorian era. era. Um, but this one is, is different because it has more of a fantasy element. I'll admit I'm kind of a sucker for fantasy books. Those are my favorite. Um, so Kingdom of the Wicked is set during the 1800s in Sicily, and it focuses on two twin sisters who are witches. Um, now, these two sisters, their names are Amelia and Vittoria, and they've been raised their whole life um, hearing stories from their Nuna, who's, that's their grandma, about the terrible wicked. Now, the wicked are, are like demons. They're the princes of hell. And according to their Nuna, they want nothing more than to break into their realm, wreak havoc on the world, kill witches, you know, and basically bring about the end of the world as we know it. Now, Amelia and Vittoria, they've, they've lived their whole lives, you know, hearing these stories. And for the most part, they just kind of think that they're, they're just stories their Nuna tells, they're legends, they're myths. Now, they do practice um, kind of like a craft, like they, uh, they cast protective charms. They both wear amulets that their Nuna gave them. Um, and they had to promise to never take the amulets off and never to bring them together. Because bringing the amulets together could create a rift that would allow the wicked to escape into their world. So um, the story really takes off when Amelia finds Vittoria's body in like the basement of a mausoleum and she realizes her twin's heart has been ripped out. And this begins the story for Amelia um, of her dark descent, you know, as she, as she starts pursuing revenge at all costs, as she's willing to sacrifice anything to, to uh, make the person pay who did this to her sister. And she finds herself kind of in an unlikely alliance with one of the wicked, specifically Prince Wrath, who has convinced her that he also wants to uh, put a stop to these murders that are taking place with all these witches across Sicily. So if you like stories that are, you know, that, that are packed full of mystery, that have these dark elements to it, that um, are a bit of a descent for the, the hero, you know, as they kind of turn into maybe kind of more of a morally gray character, um, there's a little bit of romance in here. There's surprises, there's twists, there's betrayals, and <laughs> I will tell you, a major cliffhanger of an ending. So book two is coming out soon, so thank God we're going to find out how this ends soon. Um, so uh, if you like all of these elements, if you like spooky kinds of stories, this is going to be the read for you. So check out Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Mm -hmm.